What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Thank you so much for the well wishes. I actually was not going to cover this, but I feel good enough to the point where I went ahead and covered it because this was an important video for Santon Sala. This was a recommitment to season three. They're both doing well. They're both excited for tomorrow. It's their second anniversary trip. Chantal continues to tell people to calm down, to be reassured that they really mean it this time. They're going to be going out. They're going to be doing more. They're going to be traveling. They're going to be making vlogs. They're even going to continue their love documentary series. And Chantal says, for this trip, they've been packing food. They're going to go get supplies in the morning. They're going to be doing this great barbecue. And Chantal talks about how great the barbecue was before. How good the corn was. Didn't even need butter. The corn was so good. And then the chat kind of wants to get into that Q&A she promised. And this is where we see kind of how the relationship functions. Because the chat asks Salah if he likes Chantal's eyes or sense of humor better. And Salah, for some reason, is kind of overwhelmed by this. He says both. The, the question literally was, pick one or the other. He thinks about it and says both. He then needs the question to be clarified. And he tries to clarify his answer as, you know, Chantal could do stand-up comedy. In reality, Salah, Chantal would do sit-down comedy. But the fact that you can't pick one against the other is really amazing to me. They then elect that they're going to play chess, okay? Chantal has to make a lot of adjustments to herself to be comfortable. She's always kind of angling herself back and leaning back. She has to remain covered, of course. She says it's difficult for her. She can't put her legs together. She can't cross her legs. You also get the idea that neither of them really have a firm grasp on chess, the match itself takes about 35 minutes, but the reality is, from a chess standpoint, it ends relatively quickly. It, it is painful to watch Chantal attempt to play chess. Chantal then wants to have thumb wars. Now, Chantal cannot stop moving her little nub around, but we learn she has zero dexterity in her hands. And I would say that watching Chantal and Sala have thumb wars would be about as painful as watching someone with no teeth try to make their way through a handful of almonds. We move from that, however, to rock, paper, scissors. And Chantal just seems to be glad Salah was touching her. You almost get the idea that she made up these games so he could touch her outside of just, you know, the cheek squeeze or the, the head pat. And it's also if you look at the optics of this, amazing to me that Chantal constantly comes online. Salah's a foot taller than me. He's so much bigger. But when we look, her hands are honestly larger than his. And this is just kind of one of the things that should be for her a massive red flag. There's more than one in this video, but that should really be something where she kind of takes a step back and says, listen, let's not care about going out to a barbecue. Let's not care about travel vlogging. Let, let's focus on health here. Because she honestly acts in these videos like he has never touched her before. It's hard to explain. It, it's hard for me to put into words the tension that is between them at all times. A lot of it is based in Chantal's reactions. She seems giddy. She gets flush. She constantly wants compliments. And I think it's those types of mannerisms and responses that make people think they don't live together. And, you know, with that being said, they start to move on to a staring contest. And the moment, and I mean the instant Salah stares at her, she starts laughing. There's nothing funny. I will say, though, having said all that, this was much more enjoyable than watching her eat. This was much more enjoyable than having her sit there and go after reaction channels or talk to the chat or any of those things. This, for some, may have a replay factor to it. We move on to the piano, where Chantal is still just trying to learn. But again, massive red flag here. You can see Salah, full throw pillow between him and the keyboard. Chantal, however, can barely see over herself. After what I would say is probably 50 minutes, at most an hour uh, of laughing, we see that Chantal's eyes constantly need to be rubbed, her glasses constantly steamed up. She elects that this has exhausted her, and it's time to seal. Salah has won every game, and when she sits down on the sofa, she starts to talk about complaints. 
It's going to be too cold in the desert. She complains about not having enough time to get everything done. She complains about her sleep schedule and how going out to the desert is going to impact that. She claims to have so much to do, but is just more than willing to sit there and hand dance while Salah plays the keyboard. They, of course, finish off with Howie. And for some reason, as I mentioned before, Chantal finds everything absolutely hilarious. Uh, Howie's trying to whittle down this piece of food. It's hilarious. Salah has Howie in his hand. It's hilarious. We've given Howie too much food and he can't get it in his cheek. Absolute hilarious. Of course, they get reminded constantly of the fun that's going to take place, how they're going to film all this. But again, let me remind you, this is also the content all the Reaction Channel steal. Them playing chess, them playing Thumb Wars, them playing Rock, Paper, Scissors, and then holding a hamster after they play the piano for 25 minutes. When I think about what they were trying to do with the Couples Channel, it is so much more than this. It, it really does seem like, again, the lowest effort possible. I've said past couple videos, every time we log on as creators, it, it tells us. It told me, listen, I didn't make a video for probably close to 30, maybe more than that, hours. When I came on, immediately reminded. Uh, your views are down. Your watch hours are down. Of course, it's not saying something simple like, hey, you didn't make video in a day, so your views naturally went down. It's still telling you. Everything is there. We have a dashboard. It's very interactive. They want you to make money, so they make money. The fact that Chantal let this channel lie dormant for months and months and months, when it did need to be, you know, she could have been going out all these places in Kuwait, practicing the vlogging, practicing the angles, practicing the editing. She didn't want to do that. And now all of a sudden she wants to snap her fingers and think that it's going to be a couple's channel with travel vlogs and all these things again, when it really hasn't been that for, I would say, about a year. And I think what's going to happen is Chantal is going to realize that it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of effort just to get back to kind of a baseline of where the channel was before. And she's not going to want to put that energy in. She's not going to put that time in. Almost the same thing we saw with Salah's gaming channel, which, you know, a couple couple weeks, maybe maybe a week and a half, two weeks, he was doing gaming streams, she was promoting him. And then really, I mean, to be fair, the numbers weren't there. She knew that, he knew that. Were they having fun? Possibly. But could they make more income having that fun on Chantal's channel? Yes. And that's why, in my opinion, that kind of dried up. Just like this will kind of dry up. You have to fully commit to something, Chantal. And if you're going to fully commit to something, I think your viewers want you to fully commit to one thing, and it's your health. Because the people that are there that want to support you and want to see you know that the better your health is, the longer they can do that. And the fact that you're sitting there and seeing so many red flags, I personally, just from me to you, Chantal, I don't really recommend you going out and being isolate, being desolate, being away from society. Because at any point, you could have something happen. We, we talk about it just about every time you go out. In a lot of ways, I think it's why you don't go out more. Because you have those natural concerns of what if something happens? You know, are you going to be able to plug your CPAP machine out in the middle of the desert? Are you prepared? Is Sala prepared if something were to happen? Because your face, every time I see it, it seems to just be less and less in terms of movement. Your eyes seem to get more and more closed when you laugh. And it's just not healthy. And everyone tells you this. You can tell us that you're counting calories. You can tell us you're cooking all your meals. You can tell us you know everything going in and Salah can maybe know everything going out of your body. But the reality is, it just doesn't add up when we look at you. It doesn't add up when we look at the couple. It doesn't add up when we look at the health. And no vlog is going to change that. Love to know your thoughts on this. I appreciate each and every one of you watching this. Here are your top comments from the last video. And you know when they're going to go out in the desert and have to live stream for probably nine hours just to keep themselves company because they don't really spend a lot of time together, clearly. There is no way that I will not be back as soon as I can with more commentary.